If you are into fitness, then there is a high chance you have one of these, a heart rate monitor. But this one is a little bit different. It may just be the best heart rate monitor if you use a heart rate monitor for a long period of time or you race or you simply don't like wearing a strap. So we're gonna take a good look at this, the WellU Visual Beat heart rate monitor. Now in this video, we are gonna unbox and see exactly what comes in the pack. We're also gonna look at the specification and what the heart rate monitor can actually do. I will then look at installation and fitting and how you can wear this heart rate monitor without a strap, which is a massive win. Amp Plus and Bluetooth connectivity. We'll look at how to connect them via both technologies and see just how well this connects. There is also an app which will track our heart rate and also do an ECG. Then I will race with the WellU Visual Beat heart rate monitor without the strap and see just how good it is. And then look at the data from the race to make sure there was no dropouts and make sure it was all consistent. It's gonna be a feature pack video. So let's see if this is one of the best heart rate monitors for people into fitness. So first things first, let's see what comes in the box. The heart rate monitor itself the charger, we have the strap, so if you want to wear it with a strap, you can. And we have the electrical diodes, which is what you use if you do not want to wear the strap. Now it's all out of the box, let's have a look at the technical spec of this little beauty. So as soon as you put this heart rate monitor on, it will automatically start recording your heart rate and it will save it to the device. As soon as you take it off, that will be the session stop. So you can leave it on up to 24 hours and that session will appear in the app, which we will look at later. And you can record up to 10 sessions every 30 hours. We also have a vibration alarm, which is good from a safety point of view or if you just want to monitor, we have a max and a minimum, so we can set that in the app. You do have to charge this up. We have the charge up and it will last 40 eight hours on one charge. It weighs 18 grams, so basically nothing. So if you don't have the strap on and this is just on your chest, then it's basically nothing on you. You won't even feel it. Well, hopefully, we'll see later in the video. We have a minimum of 30 beats per minute and maximum of 250 beats per minute that this can record. You can also record an ECG, which is gonna give you a PDF and print it out. So that can be done through the app, which we will also look at a little bit later. So that is a technical spec. Let's get this on and fit it and see how it is with these diodes and see how it is with the strap. You can see that the strap simply has two little clips. Now the R on the visual beat means that needs to go on the right hand side. So you can just pop that on simple and then it is just like any other heart rate monitor, super easy to use. And you can pop that on and off as and when you wish. Nice thing about that, you can wash the strap. Now with the diodes, if we open the packet up, we have these, but you can just attach these to the heart rate monitor. So let's do just that. And that's gonna stick on your chest. Now you can put that on vertically, so you can put it on like this, and you can also stick it on the left side, obviously, up here. So depending on how you wanna wear it, you have different options or depending on your chest hair pattern. Nice that you have two ways and I'm really looking forward to using this because I think it could be good when you're racing or you don't wanna wear a heart rate monitor for a long time. I've done some big rides, you know, five hour days on my bike and it can be a bit annoying with a heart rate monitor around you. This is hopefully gonna eliminate that on those big days and those occasions. It's worth noting that these dio pads are not reusable. You get 16, I believe, in the pack. Let's have a look what it's actually like on the old bod. Go into the app and we can see there that my heart is actually beating on screen. I, I was worried that it would be a little bit uncomfortable, but that's not bad at all. Let's put my body away. Let's see how it is on the strap. And we can see we are working again. The heart rate is pumping. So again, straight away, you saw how easy it was. If you have never used a heart rate monitor before, they normally have Amp Plus and Bluetooth technology built in. Amp Plus, you may not know about Bluetooth, more common obviously on all phones and devices. Now Amp Plus tends to be, in my experience, a little bit more stable and it's what I prefer to connect with. So let's start with Amp Plus settings, heart rate, Amp Plus heart rate. Heart rate monitor, yes, search. And there we go. Heart rate monitor detected straight away. So with Ant Plus, that was a quick connection. So I've just launched Swift, and you can see here we've got the Bluetooth icon on. Now what you wanna do is make sure that nothing else is connected to the heart rate monitor via Bluetooth. It can only connect to one device at a time via Bluetooth. So I've killed the app, I've got the heart rate monitor on and I've found my power source. I'm just gonna click heart rate and you can see there straight away visual beat 
click OK and we're paired. So that is super, super quick. I've used a lot of heart rate monitors and to be honest, that was very, very painless connecting with Bluetooth and Out Plus. More modern heart rate monitors like this Well You Visual Beat have an app as well. I'm gonna open up the Via Health app. Now you can see there we've got Visual Beat, it's connected, I have connected previously, and straight away it's in. Now we can do a few things in here. We can record an ECG, which is interesting, so you're simply gonna click this. So I'm just gonna stop that. Less than 30 seconds data, so it didn't save. And what I'm gonna do is go into history, and I'm gonna go into an, a previous one that I've done, for example. So you can see here, I'm gonna go into the ECG and this is what it's got. You can see all the beats and you can download that as a PDF, see the different pages. Now, what I wanna look at as well is the heart rate monitoring. So as soon as you put the Well You Visual Beat on, it starts tracking your heart rate and it will save it to the actual heart rate monitor itself, okay? Then what happens is as soon as you take it off, that is that session stop. So if you put it on in the morning and took it off at night, it's gonna record you all day, okay? It will automatically sync with the app. So you can see here, I've got this one at the bottom, which is 48 minutes, 30 seconds. I'm gonna click on that. And this gives you information all about that session that it tracked. So it was 48 minutes, max heart rate was 108 beats per minute, average 65, for example. You can see the ranges um, and you've got the chart down here. You can also zoom in so you can see and you can see the time of day at the bottom and you can relate that to what you were doing. So you can see if there's any peaks, if it went high, if it went low, etc., etc. Pretty good visualization and a way to track your heart rate throughout the day. And as I said, you can do this for a 24 hour period. Um, and then I'm gonna come into settings. Now here at the top, we have this heart rate target, which is an interesting one. So what we can do is set this min and max heart rate target. And what's gonna happen is this is gonna notify us, gonna vibrate and tell us that we've gone either below 120 beats per minute or over 170, for example. Let's go back, we've got device update as well. We've got a heartbeat sound. Um, but if I turn that up, so those are the things you can edit in the app. It's nice that it tracks it over time. You can do 24 hour tracking in these other settings. There's only one thing left to do and that is go for a race and put this properly to the test. All right, so I have just finished the race and it's not too bad, it stayed on. This is looking a little bit loose here on the right, but I'm indoors, it's proper hot, gets sweaty in here. To be honest, I don't have a fan, I've just got the door open, so yeah, not bad at all. It's much better than having the band around you, that's for sure, especially when you're up sprinting, you don't feel it around you, digging in. So overall, pretty decent in a race. That was a hard race, that was a really, really hard race. There was sprints, there was time when I was resting, but my heart rate was high, so I did put this little bad boy through its paces. So here we have Zwift and we can see here, we've got all different data, um, but what we want is the heart rate. So I'm gonna turn off these other metrics and you can see the heart rate is here. Now we can see the line is pretty consistent. So that means that there was no dropouts at all. So if there was any dropouts, you'd see this line, this red line go straight down and straight back up. So that's what we wanna see, at least a consistent line. So all good for the 26 minute duration. Nice, we've got the max of 189 beats. So that's what it was reading and it was reading fine on these electrical diodes. And we've got the average, which was 171 beats per minute, which is relatively high for me because that was a damn hard race. So overall, what do I think about the Well You Visual Beat heart rate monitor, this little puppy? Now, I think it's really good. I really do. I like the fact that it comes with the diodes and you can just use it like that. You don't have to wear the strap. If you have an important race, or a long distance event, then you can have that on. So if you are looking for a heart rate monitor, then I would recommend it. It's been good, very smart indeed. And I will be wearing that. I will be wearing that, especially when I go out on longer rides. So subscribe if you want to see that. If you found use in this video, smash the like button, give it a thumbs up. So thanks again for watching Vine People. See you soon, bye.